In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do. So my fault, so my fault, so my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service and at all times obtain for us your help. So, Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud. For your namesake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us. For the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promise to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven, or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world in this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today, as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, 
how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Move with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant! I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. Do you have a problem when it comes to forgiving someone? Why is it that it's hard for us to forgive those who have wronged us? Why can't we just learn to forgive and forget and be humble those who hurt us? It's because of our pride and selfishness. We cannot take it in our minds and our hearts that those people who hurt us will just let it go that they will be free of our hatred. For us, they should suffer the way we did, or much worse than what we feel. We are selfish because we just think of ourselves and what it costs us. We did not think that we are also hurting Jesus if we do not forgive our brothers and sisters. If we truly love and follow Jesus, we will be a forgiving person, no matter how big or small, or how deep the pain in our hearts, we will let it go. Jesus told Peter in today's gospel to forgive those who have sinned against them. Not just seven times, but 77 times. It is not a literal number. 77 times is way too much to forgive. 77 times is way too many times. Because Jesus means that forgiveness should never be counted. And... It is never-ending. If we truly are followers and believers of Jesus and his words, this is easy for us. 
to forgive is not hard. The Lord forgives us many times for our sins. We should also learn to ask for forgiveness. Be humble and be grateful to Jesus for forgiving you. Give someone a chance to ask for forgiveness. And may the Lord give you the grace to forgive someone today. Remember this, my dear friends in Christ. When we forgive, we free ourselves from the imprisonment of anger and hatred. Just imagine if we have anger in our hearts. We carry this burden that does not do to us except to heighten our blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, etc., etc. Then, soon, go to the hospital and worse, you will die just because of your anger in your heart. It is so very shameful if you die because of anger. You don't want to forgive your husband and wife and that's the cause of your death. That's why our gospel for the day is very beautiful to each and every one of us, most especially those people that's very hard for them to forgive those people who hurt them. Always be humble. Always be kind. Always be forgiving. This is the word of God to each and every one of us. We must learn how to forgive and ask for forgiveness also. Amen. With concrete hearts and humble spirits, we present our prayers to our merciful Lord. That the grace of the Holy Spirit may continue to sanctify the church and bring healing where needed. Let us pray to the Lord. That the mercies of God may inspire forgiveness and reconciliation among nations. Let us pray to the Lord that Christ our healer may look graciously upon all who have suffered from the coronavirus and its effects. Let us pray to the Lord. But the Lord may continue to grow in joy and faith those who are preparing to be baptized into Christ's holy church at the Easter Vigil. Let us pray to the Lord. That our Heavenly Father may have mercy upon the souls of all who have died and bring them to everlasting life, let us pray to the Lord. We also include in this Holy Mass for the souls of Shirley Ebreo, Carla Beckman, Ruben Miguel Ariar Thorin Mani, and all the souls in Purgatory. We pray also our frontliners and those who died just because of this pandemic those who got the virus. We pray also our brothers and sisters who are sick. Let us pray for their speedy recovery, more especially Vincent Paul and uh, Jiro Pule. We pray also those who have cancer and those who are dying this very moment. Our brothers and sisters who suffered a lot. Those who have a lot of problems, like family problems, psychological problems, and financial problems, let us pray for them to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention.
God of our ancestors, in your kindness, hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and pork of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine work of human hands, and become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, get was my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, to Almighty Father. For the praise and the glory of His name, for good and the good of all His church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your Almighty Father. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is so truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing, purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections. They may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapo was sended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Robert our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners, our deacons, our seminarians, our nuns, and those are helping our parish Corpus Christi, our staff and all our volunteers and their family. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may present glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. To him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family all together, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that may the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my rule, but when I say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this misery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass send them. Go and forgive and forget. Thanks be to God.